The AI Seoul Summit kicks off today with a virtual leader session to be co-chaired by President Yoon Seok-yeol and his British counterpart Rishi Sunak this evening, Korea Standard Time. Our senior correspondent Oh Soo-young reports. The leaders of South Korea and Britain are leading the global conversation on how artificial intelligence should be governed across the world to ensure that digital progress changes lives for the better. Yoon Seok-yeol and Rishi Sunak on Tuesday evening's Ho time are co-hosting the AI's Ho Summit, launching the virtual top-level talks where the leaders of the Group of Seven Nations, Singapore and Australia, have been invited to participate, along with the heads of international organizations and global tech firms like Samsung, Amazon, Google and OpenAI. The AI's Ho Summit is a follow-up to the AI Safety Summit held in the UK's Bletchley Park last year, which saw a world-first agreement between governments to jointly address the risks posed by the fast-evolving technology. This year, the focus will expand to measures to promote innovation, as well as the safety and inclusion of diverse social groups and the Global South. Participants will hold a balanced discussion on not only the risks posed by AI, but also its positive aspects and how AI can contribute to humanity. Ahead of the summit, Yun and Sunak on Monday published the joint op-ed, emphasizing the need for standards on AI to harness its full potential to tackle global challenges such as poverty and climate change and prevent a global race to the bottom. President Yoon, beginning with his New York initiative in 2022, has actively promoted global efforts to form standards on advancing digital innovation for the benefit of humanity, while expending access and rights to gain from technology. Korea is a powerhouse for AI memory chips, but the UK is third in the world in AI, so we, are, we have really advanced AI capabilities, so we have really complementing strengths there. But what's most important is that the UK and Korea are like-minded partners with shared values. So it's really important for us to work together to ensure that technologies are developed, governed and deployed in ways that um, uphold democratic values and protect human rights. Because it's only when we get that right can we really harness safely the potential of these technologies, which can help us solve global challenges like climate change. But we have to get... A South Korean presidential official said, while China hasn't been invited to the leaders' summit, it has agreed to participate in a ministerial meeting, noting that Beijing did not take part in the more sensitive discussions last year. The official said while many countries agree on the need for AI norms, there are some differences in their approaches given their different forms of governance. These contrasts will likely be discussed in detail during the summit. The Leaders Summit will be followed by an in-person ministerial conference on Wednesday alongside the AI Global Forum in Seoul to expand the conversation to wider sectors of society. Woo Arirang News.